Hello dear friends, I hope you will be fine and doing practice regularly and understanding the basic tools. So today I will teach you about the shape builder tool, today we will see what can we do with this tool. So let's start. First of all as usual I will take a new document. So what is the purpose of shape builder tool? With shape builder tool we can merge, delete, and intersect the shapes easily and quickly. This is our shape builder tool. To understand this tool we need two shapes, so I am going to draw two circles here but we can use this tool on any shape. By the way, I am using the shift key to draw a perfect circle. And I am going to change its fill color, something like dark gray. And I will take its copy by holding the Alt key as we learned in previous classes. And I will change its color to something like light gray. Now I am overlapping the both shapes. Something like this. Now before using the shape builder tool, we have to select the both shapes, otherwise shape builder tool will not work, so before using this tool, make sure you have selected the both shapes with selection tool. Now I am taking the shape builder tool. And if you see alongside my cursor a plus sign is visible. But when I press and hold the Alt key the plus sign will change into minus, it's mean we can add or subtract the shapes from each other. And when I roll over the shape, a small grids are showing. And this grid will show on all parts of shape that's overlapping. So if want to convert these both separate shapes as one shape. I will select the both shapes with selection tool. Let me remove the stroke this is not necessary but I am removing. Now I'm taking the shape builder tool. And I am rolling over the first part of shape, and I am pressing and holding the left button of my mouse, and simple drag to the end. Then release the button and it's done. See now this is a single shape. Let's undo again to go back. Now if I simply click on the center part where both shapes are overlapping, see what happened. Look at this, our shapes are divided into three pieces. Let's undo again. Now if I want to subtract this shape, the light gray area from the other shape which is dark gray. I will roll over the shape, and I will press and hold the Alt key. And then I will drag the mouse like this. See the light gray part has removed, now I want to clear this is not due to colors, you can use this tool on any color even if both shapes have similar colors, this tool will work fine definitely. Now if I hold the Alt and press here, it will remove this part. Let me explain you with another example. I am just making a rectangle here. And now I will create a triangle with the help of polygonal shape. Actually I am trying to make a basic shape of house. And you have already learned how to draw basic shapes, by the way if you are new to my channel, 
You can watch my previous classes you can see the links for that in the video description below, and don't forget to subscribe the channel. So if I want to merge these both shapes as one object, I will take the selection tool, and I will select the both shapes. Then I will take the shape builder tool. Then I will roll over the shape and drag my mouse by holding the left key. Like this, so simple. See now this is a single shape. Now I will draw a door here. Now I want to cut out this door from the house. This time I will press and hold the Alt key and I will simply click on the door. So I hope you will be understanding. Same as you can cut out the windows, the trick is so simple if you want to merge the shapes, simply select the all shapes and drag the shape builder tool over the shapes which you want to convert into one shape, and if you want to remove or subtract the shape, then press and hold the alt key before dragging or clicking on the shape. So I hope you have understood the purpose of shape builder tool, if you have any question you can ask me in comments. Now in bonus I will tell you about some other tools, these tools are usually useless because I don't use these tools, but if you can make something from these tools you can use. If you see here, near the pen tool there is another tool similar to pen tool, this is called curvature tool. To make a curve we need to do lots of thing with the pen tool. Let me remove the fill to show it more clearly. We can make the curves easily with the help of curvature tool. In curvature tool we don't need to click and drag the mouse, simply add the anchor point and this will automatically make the curve lines. Just click and go this will continuously curve the every line. I will always recommend you to use the pen tool, but in some places curvature tool will help you. Now below this curvature tool. This is a simple line tool you can draw straight lines. And this is arc tool. You can draw arc lines with this tool. And with arc tool is selected if you click on the arc board, you will see a property window. In this property window you can manually put the values and can try different settings, you can fill the arc line as shape also. And you can also define the values for slope.
and below the arc tool this is spiral tool, and I don't know where are you going to use this. It has also some properties that you can change manually. This one is going from bottom to top. And this one is coming from top to bottom. Below the spiral this is grid tool, you can make grids with this tool just like a table. Same as the other tools if you click on the artboard, you see a property window. And you can also define its values manually, you can change the quantity of rows and columns. Just like this. And you can also fill any color in this grid. And to do this you have to turn on this two options. You can use this grid to draw windows. I am going to select black for windows glass. And white for its frame. And you can also change the weight of stroke. Just like this. To delete the shapes click and select and press the delete button from keyboard. Now this is our final shape today. And honestly saying I don't know where to use these shapes, I never used but I have to tell you so I told you. So it's enough for today keep practicing like and must share the video, see you in next class.